What's up, fishing friends? <laughs> What's up, fishing friends? We're out here fishing. on the lake today. Fishing friends. What up, fishing friends? We're out here on the lake today. Uh, we decided, uh, hey, we better get out early. It's going to be one of them Iowa scorchers today. Heat index is over 100. It's kind of nice right now. A little muggy, a little humid. It's quite a decent chop on the water. I think uh, some top water is going to do good. I think we're going to catch some fish. Hopefully we can get on something. We've got a nice chop on the water right now. It is uh, it is pretty, pretty nice right now, but it's supposed to get to be like 110 uh, degrees stuff. All the people down in Texas and Arizona are laughing. They're like, it's been 110 forever. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get out here and see if we can catch some fish. Oh, somebody decided to leave their worms. That's nice. Just leave your trash here, folks. Let's see if there's anything hiding on this here wood pile. I haven't thrown the sprinkler frog in a minute. This is one of my favorites. I don't know if it has enough, enough ploppy goodness action to uh, pull them out in this kind of chop. There's one. Oh, in the reeds. Yeah. It's not even a dink. Well, I don't know, two pounders start the day. Look at that. I'll call that a hook set. Yes. All right, well, parallel on the bank there. Something that I don't see enough newer folks doing, throwing parallel right there next to the bank. Yeah, he's a chunk. All right, there we go, first one of the day. A little two pounder for me. We'll take it on the old sprinkler frog. Off he goes. Yeah, definitely need something with some commotion and chop. There's enough chop on the water. Can't really go subtle, but that's the uh, that's a tackle sprinkler you all saw on a, an unboxing not too long ago from my guy, Mr. Diaz. Did I just stutter and say, mama, 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 guy? My guy, Mr. Diaz, sent that. Well, that dude was hiding right up there, right in there against those reeds. I see before Rain Dizzle gets down here, I'm gonna headhunt all these good spots and steal them all before he can get down here. Paralleling stuff, hitting these little little deals. He's still tying up, it's part of the strategy. Is this a fish or is this just gunk? I think it's just gunk. Yeah, it's just gunk. Oh, it's a can of sorts it's got tetanus written all over it try throwing the jig at this wood see if there's anything on it first pitch yep. all right scratch the jig idea that must have went right down in the roots of that tree maybe it was just a sign I was supposed to throw the chatterbait here this is one of the the homemade Debo chatterbait specials. Maybe uh, maybe they'll eat this. Boy, and it looks crazy as heck. Oh! Alright, well, sorry little fella. Set the hook and threw him. There we go. Okay, well we got our Debo dink on the day. On the old homemade Debo chatterbait. Get back in there. Go, oh, that was a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Holy toad face. Uh, Spranker? Do you have your scale? Whew. That fish was not going anywhere, huh? The frog. The frog, the frog. Uh, four and a quarter. Four and a quarter, we'll take it. There we go, let's let this big girl go. Oh, yes. Thank you, big girl, for playing. She don't know she's in yet. Hey, off she goes, yes. 
Oh man, so much fun. Paralleling these these reeds, that's exactly where I caught that first fish was off a, off a patch of reeds like this. Little isolated patch of reeds just coming in parallel to it. I noticed I got real close that time. I have to try to get closer. They might not be wanting to be come out, you know, way far off of it. There he is. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh! No four and a quarter, but hey, I'll take it. that's a decent fish. Stop it. There you go, big girl. Get out of there. Get on out of here. Oh, it's a Budweiser. Never mind. Did you leave your Budweiser over here? There's one. Ugh. On the cranking bait, huh? Okay. Is there on the big 2.5 crank bait? That's a Debo special too. Oh, I don't have my pliers. All right, there we go. Well, pound and a half are on the crank bait. We'll take those guys. Get out of here. Go get huge. Off he goes. A little pound and a half -er. I'll be hating. Anything else on the old crank and bait out here? Rocky Point, crank bait, that's, that's kind of textbook. Rocky Points, throw the cranks or the jigs. With orange monitor too. Fish like the orange monitor. I got extra if you want some. That's cute. Huh. And what did I catch them on? Flashback. Treble hook in the old finger. So, I guess we're going to do a, a hook removal quick. So, going to make a loop. Put the loop around the treble. All right, you ready? I'm going to hold down on it. On three, I'm going to pull it out really hard. Ready? Okay. One. Mmm. There it is, Good folks. Action there. <laughs> Look at that little little guy. We had to get a Debo Dink. Yo, yo. Stop it. Ah. Done. Put a hook on my finger. All right. Well, there we go. Little tiny Debo Dink. He put a put a hook on my thumb there. Luckily, it didn't stick. He was hiding on the rocks. Anything down here off this old spillway that wants to eat a a tasty little frog? Just saying. Oh! oh what, 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 what was that fish? That was a big old bass. Right as I was pulling it out. Oh, look at the little turtle. Oh, turtle. That's illegal. Feels like a decent one. On the, no! It was kind of girly. I wasn't going to say anything, but. Oh, fish, 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 yeah. It's, oh, oh, what's going on? A little spillway bass fishing. What's up? What's up? What's he's a good fish? Go, 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 go. Son of a fish twist. <laughs> what is this? A chunky blue bee. Oh, why did it down get so windy? Get over here. Get over here. Finish this bass. Who is your favorite character? And then I moved to, uh, I moved to 
Tekken. Unstoppable I was. Oh, okay. And then there was a game called Bloody Roar. You ever heard of that? Was that with the dinosaurs? Oh, that was Primal Rage. Remember that one? I knew his, like, his special, like, by heart. There we go. One on the old Nico. Bite's got tough, slowed down a little bit. By golly, found a fish on it. There we go, another little Debo dink, what do you know? All right, guy, go get big. Okay, so who is your favorite Mortal Kombat character? Do what? Mortal Kombat! Um. I would say probably, um, see a little wheelie he did when I threw him back in? Oh. Sub-Zero or Scorpion. Okay. You? I like Raiden also. Um, I forget which one. Was Mortal Kombat 2 the one where they had Cyrax and... No, I don't know. What was the guy's name with the metal swords out of his arms? Was that Mortal Kombat 2? That was like 3 or 4. Uh, who was the guy that did the wheel, the bicycle kick? <laughs> oh, the cheating guy? Shot the fireballs. Yeah, that guy that's, was that's Ken and Ryu. Street Fighter. Sir, why is your plates from Texas? All right. Stop. Basically, I'm a mayor, but I'm past my prime and I can't have babies anymore. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. Hey. Oh. Number three. The adios. Man, if there was only like a saying. What? Fishing gets tough and you can't catch anything. What should you do? Go home, have a beer. Not sure what you're getting at here. But somebody else is catching fish, doing something. Throw a jig. No. God, you're so stubborn. <laughs> Grass. Oh. Decent fish for here. Hey, there we go. Decent fish for here. One on the old custom Debo lure. Nope, don't. Oh, and the goose poop. Oh, remember my first time fishing. All right, there we go. Another little pound and a half for that one on the old custom Debo crank. We'll take some of those. Been just a minute before I had a bite. Caught one on the Nico and then went, uh, went kind of dull. There we go. A little pound and a half or we'll take him. Thanks, fish. Go. Slow rolling? Slow rolling right by all the rocks. Oof, eesh, oof. Got to retie anytime you're around rocks like that. Check frequently and retie as needed. Here's a story of a frustrated Dizzle who keeps getting his night on some rocks. All right, Fisher friends, that's going to do it from us for today. All in all, pretty fun day. There wasn't a real consistent bite of one lure. For me, the two biggest fish came on that. That's the old Tekel Sprinker. That's from Mr. Michael Diaz. Thank you so much for sending those. I've got some more of your lures in that reel to test out. I'm excited. Otherwise, I caught some on that crank that I painted, caught a couple on that little chatterbait that I made. Might do some more with those soon, but uh, how about you, Randy? Well, uh, you know, shockingly enough, uh, fish I caught were on a jig. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is, you know, when you're out fishing and you just happen to cross something that looks a little fishy, stop and investigate. What, what's gonna happen if you spend five, 10 minutes at a spot? You get nothing, you move on with your day. In our case, we drove past a spillway, stopped. I caught a decent sized bass. Debo had a good one on, didn't quite land it, but he had a good one on. And you would have never thought, just this little spillway running in this little creek. As the Dizzle says, if it's fishy, fish it. I'm telling you, he's like a fishing Yoda. Anyway, today's subscribe fishing friend is Michael Diaz. Michael, thank you so much for the Tekel Sprinkler and everything else. I love frogging, so that was great today. And thank you everybody else for watching. It's late. We got to get going. I still got to drive, so thank you all for watching. Until next time.